today will not be mic'd. So you have to listen extra careful because they are practicing their projection skills. So I expect you guys to be an amazing audience and we hope you enjoy the show. Hello everyone. I'm just going to talk about what we did in this unit and what we learned. So in this unit we learned about different components that made theater, such as uh, performance elements and production elements. We also learned about different types of theater in the world, such as kabuki, no, and Chinese opera. In our play, we're going to be incorporating kabuki into our play. In our play, there will be many exaggerated poses, such as they, such as they do in kabuki. <clears throat> I am the director of this play, and Bob is a technical director who isn't here today, so Ms. Lard is taking over. Uh, I am proud to present Chicken Little. <laughs> Once there was a chicken of particularly short stature, and that chicken was named Chicken Little. Hey, are you making fun of my heart or something? What are you talking about? I'm just a plain old narrator. I, I would never do such a thing. I'm already taken to the hole. For the record, I was making fun of my heart. And it was hilarious. <laughs> Debatable. Stop breaking the fourth wall, Chicken Little. Just pretend I'm not here. Ow! Before I make fun of my heart, does it start from things like Duggan? That seriously wasn't me. I was too busy trying to get you to say a character. Hmm. Yeah, leave her a rock with hit you in the head or something. The sky is falling! Uh, wow, okay then. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! What's the juice to be the matter with you? Don't worry, nothing's wrong with me. You seem to make a fuss a few seconds ago. There's something wrong with the sky. The sky? What do you want in the sky? It is beautiful something. There's no time for whatever nonsense is coming out of your mouth right now. The sky is falling. Oh my, it does sound serious. We must tell the king, tell the king, tell the king. Even though it was abundantly clear that the sky was not falling, the pair began to strut towards the king's castle. Coincidentally, Turkey Lurkey was passing by at the same instant. What seems to be the matter, my friends? Turkey Lurkey, there's no time to lose. The sky is falling. Do you have any proof? That's ridiculous. Of course I have proof. I'm a talkie, not a duck. My name is Talkie, Maki. A great big ball of sky come loose and bump my head. The sky is falling. But there's an easy way to find the truth, whether it just fun or not, then check the sky. What Turkey Lurkey had failed to consider is the fact that all three of these birds were uh, <coughs> flightless. Ha, <laughs> you're right. I can fly better than you ever will. Go look, go look, go look. I believe in you. Aw, that was adorable. You look so cute when it feel. Here, let me try. It really can't be that hard. I'm just gonna wing it. <laughs> Thankfully, along came Goosey Lucy, a bird capable of flight. Someone say flight because I'm as white as the feather. Yeah, yeah, you just been body all whatever. What's the full head of you little duck? I assure you, I'm no quack. For the last time, I'm a turkey, not a duck. You see, you must look at the sky. The sky is falling. We don't know that. Where's your proof? Without feather, I do. I'll put this bait for rest for once and for all. So, are you going to fly up and check or not? No need! I simply look at it from a bird's eye view, just like you want it. Oh. You are absolutely outrageous! Hey, it's not my fault! I'm just a silly goose! That goose is good, girl. I can't trust it. The sky is falling! 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 Hello, 
later, what are you all doing on the path to the king's castle? The sky is falling. We must warn the king this is the interesting group you have here, old chicken head and strange looking duck. Not that strange looking duck. Fine, the strange looking turkey, that would work. That work for a what exactly? What is that? What is that? Please? You've been telling this road for a long time now. Yeah, this is 10 minutes play and we're already along 6 minutes in. <sighs> Maybe that's Well, coincidentally enough, I, Foxy, I, Foxy, I'm the owner and operator of a cozy bed just over there. Can you see it? That little shack over there doesn't really scream cozy to me. I assure you the guy, uh, I assure you the prestigious <laughs> establishment coincidentally in the king dance here. The king is a shop. Of course you spend this morning to be dusty old shit like this one. Does someone say something? Oh, it's probably just the wind. <laughs> as, as tasteless as my king be, we must warn him over the sky. The sky is falling, the sky is falling! The sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling! I don't know if you've already held. The sky is <laughs> Okay, okay, fine, please. I heard you the first time, it's getting old. So, Foxy, did you guys this this song for flightless birds? Yes, as a matter of fact, you explained how being waited by a guy. Yes, just a guy. Just some guy? Why would just some guy spend his hard earned coins on us? You just remember to say the word. Why, well, the guy is very interrogated by your thoughts. I'm more than happy to sponsor him. Y'all need a nice long rest before you talk to the king tomorrow. I assure you, the guy is perfectly wealthy and successful in the league. Who? Is it Bill Gates? Mark Zuckerberg? Is it Teddy Roosevelt? Please tell me it's Teddy Roosevelt. Ah, uh, I love that man. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt was a renowned hunter. He poached many endangered animals, including birds. Well, I hope you all enjoy your stay. Let me know if you need any do, do you have any bags you can bring to your rooms? No, William. Bones. <laughs> I'm just <joking. laughs> any material possessions. Right. Any of the witnesses? A simple cat wait. to help you tell the king all about the sky. And how is falling? Wait, the sky is falling? Why wasn't I told about this? We can't, we can't, we can be heroes! And because for one day, I'm so glad to trust each other that little baby will be little in high school and big in brains! I'm not sure there was a compliment, or are you sold? Wow, this is a gum of birds. Birds of mm -hmm. That reminds me, but there are no feathers in my plate like last time. I'll help you out the cut. Right, got it. Do you ever feel sad about deceiving the birds into an expensive paid bed and praying them for someone else's breakfast? Uh, I did tell them to be more skeptical and not to believe everything they hear. Well, but you can't because they are making you soup right now. You're right. I guess the shit is still. <laughs> <laughs>
Fox and the Crow. Um, just like my friend director said, uh, said we've used um, different theater techniques around the world. Kabuki, no, and Chinese opera. Well, yeah, I hope you enjoyed today. And I also like to te thank my tech director, Serena, and all the actors here. I'm the director, and shall I give a clap for Fox and the Crow? <laughs> Why you people like this stuff so much? Just think about it for a moment. Where it can't be. Yeah. No five seconds rules around this part. That shit was disgusting before it fell on the ground. <laughs> now it's dead. <laughs> With the 
motion. Call, call, call. It's not my fault that you have such a beautiful voice. Do you really think so? Ah, oh, thank you. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the audience wouldn't want to watch two days of this drivel. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Did somebody named Chucky Cheese order a box of cheese donuts? <laughs>